This is Lisa with Seven Hoops Farm. We were going to do a little video on therapy vest for the horses. We thought you might like some information on the types that we use. We get asked about them quite a bit, so here we go. All of our vests can be purchased at Pet Joy. And you have to remember when you order from Pet Joy, they specialize in dog vest that just happen to work very well for our horses. So when you're ordering, remember, you know, you're looking at a large vest is for a large dog, not a large horse, because we have very frequently heard people order a large vest and it's so tiny on their little horse because they think, well, I've got a little horse, so I must need a small. Do remember that these are for dogs, not for the horse's sizing. You'll see that this hot pink one here is a large, extra large, I believe even. This one is an extra, extra large next to it. And you can see when I put over the top, um, the difference here in size between these, there is quite a bit. And then there's even one larger than this. I don't have that in here right now, but there's even a, a bigger one than this. We tend to use this extra, extra large on most of our horses because I like the vest to fit like a saddle. I like the way that looks. I don't particularly care for the look of a little tiny vest on a big, big horse. Um, it just looks odd to me. So that's just a personal preference. Um, but the sizing um, will make a difference on how the belt goes around and then how the uh, chest strap goes around. One thing I do want you to consider when you're ordering your vest and talking with Lori, we had, um, our, our later vest that we had made, we figured out through trial and error, like everybody does, um, we had an extra long piece of um, belt put on and I can adjust it with this. So it fits my tiniest horses, it fits my fat horses, um, which we needed to have on there. If you've ordered a vest that you find now is too small for some of your horses, because the horse has grown and gained weight, they do have um, what we call a fat boy belt that has a, a clip that fits in between here and the end of your regular belting on here. It's, it's about, about this long and it adds about six inches on to your vest size if you need that. We ordered several of those and we kind of keep them in the trailer together with all the other vests so that we can always make sure everything fits. Um, two things that you need to always make sure that are on your belt, on your uh, vest when you order it. Please make sure that when you order, you get these quick release um, um, fasteners here on the top of the vest. And this is where it would go around the neck, the chest area, because this makes it a whole lot easier when you're putting on a lot of costuming and doing this, you know, every day. This is just a quick release that goes on. You don't have to feed the lead rope through and get it over the halter and over the head and all that kind of thing. It's just a lot easier. This is how the vest normally come. It's sewn together both places and you can adjust it, but there's not a way to quick release. So I would encourage you to get that. Um, it adds just a, a tiny bit onto the price of your vest. Um, other than that, things to look for. We always get this, um, reflective, we try to usually get this reflective um, piping that goes on. So at nighttime, um, this will shine in the dark and your, your horse is more easily seen. So if we are doing a nighttime visit, these were the vests that we will be wearing on just because they shine up a little bit better. Then um, from there, I will show you, let's see, this is some of our first vests that we had made. And for some of the patches, they're permanent. They don't come off, but we realized then later um, we could have these Velcro patches put on and we like to use that because then that allows me then to just have different patches made and we can chain things in and out, which make it really nice. For instance, like on, you know, these vests, I can put, um, you know, like I can switch out the American flag if I want to. I can switch out a name tag if I want to have that done. And Lori can do all these for you. Just tell her what do you want on that badge and she will take care of it for you. So we have therapy horse. We have um, um, in training on some of our badges. All the horses have their own name. Um, we do not have vest made for a specific horse and we had the patches made so that then that was that horse's vest just for the day so that is kind of how we do it other than that then you've got a load of colors to choose from so you can tell Lori again you know what colors you're looking at what you like purple is our farm color so we go with that um, we did this one 
for a particular event where we had some of the girl horses out and like to deck them out in the pink. And this makes great for the unicorn look. Um, this is the one that we use in a lot of the parades because I can put florals and costuming on top of this and it makes it stand out with this being black. Um, two things you can also look at is the um, stitching that you have. This is our, our, our farm name, of course. This is the block print, which I prefer just because it's so easy to read. And this is the script print, which I feel is a little bit harder to read um, when you're looking at the vest. So we have now gone to just using that um, block print just because it's easier to see, I think. Other than that, you've got a ton of options. Um, the Hamilton Police Department, their colors are blue and black. Um, we had their patches sewn on, and so that's kind of how that was set up. And you can put on your different programs, like say you have a Valor program or a reading program or a bullying program. You can put all that on there as well. This was one done by the Cincinnati Police Department. And again, you can see their coloration on that one. Um, some of the vest we have rings put on. Some of them are just plain, and you can see between these two, this one has this handle, and the handle is on there because if you're working with a, a dog, of course, that was a way to control the dog a little bit more, and these were to be carrying um, bags and things like that. Some people um, attach other things to these rings. We attach sometimes fun things or their badges and or I've got a bag where I put business cards in there or I put um, flyers in there. Um, I like to use these um, type of vests when we are at children's or we're doing kids events because this is a way they can walk around with the horse and hold on and it's not pulling on the lead or their halter. So we use that for that. This is one where we opted not to because it was part of a costuming and I didn't want um, the handle to be in the way. So we ordered it without. And again, Lori can walk you through that. And here's one where we added a, the stars and stripes or the stars uh, material for this particular outfit because we thought it went well. This is the Ross Police Department. And again, their colors are this green and navy. So we put those together for them. And then this is another farm one. And again, you can see I just have the Velcro patches and then that allows me to put on in on here whatever I'd like to put on. Leave it blank. You can also add um, costuming, especially like for parades. If you have floral work that you want to add on, you can put floral um, on here that have the Velcro patches on the back and then attach them that way. And it makes adding costuming really easy when you do your vest this way. These are kind of nice, again, to add um, patches or for the horses to carry things. Um, but that's kind of the breakdown of all the best. Um, one thing that we would encourage you to do, something that we do, is we spray all our best. As soon as I get them, we spray them with um, a waterproofer. That way, if you're in the parades and your vests get wet, it doesn't ruin your vest, and it also makes cleanup, um, like this one is a really heavily used one, but you can see it's in pretty good shape. It's still fairly clean. Um, it makes it so that you can just wipe it down and the vest stay really nice and clean, and you don't have anything um, run. Um, and I can let you know that this, the pink and the black, I had a fear that maybe this would run if it got wet. It does not, um, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about that on any of these. They can get wet and it won't ruin them. But again, if you waterproof them, it just makes it easy. So like stains and things like that. A lot of these vests are many years old and you wouldn't know it by looking at them because we've always kept them sprayed. Um, I do that every year. We redo them, patches, the whole thing. We do everything so that these can stay in as nice a shape as they we can because they run around 50 or $60 depending on how much you're putting on your vest. And with that kind of an investment, we wanted to protect it. I hope this has helped you get an idea about some of the vest and what you can do with the vests that you have for costuming and going into places. It's a great way to identify yourself and uh, your group. It's also a great way um, to identify if you've got someone who is sponsoring a program or doing something to you, you can have a patch made and put that on your patch for that particular visit and that lets people know who sponsored that particular visit. If you have any other questions, Put them in the comments and we'll try to answer them as best we can. Thanks.